Hello everyone, uh, this is Swart Horse Snoopy here, back with another video. Today I have for you guys another Star Wars Republic discussion episode. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about my proudest in-game accomplishments. So with this topic, I'll be looking at accomplishments that include things I've done with guilds, items I've picked up along the way while playing the game, and some experiences with the fellow players that I found fun and enjoyable. I would also like to give a special shout out to Demando for the video idea as they commented on one of my uploads asking for a discussion on this very topic. This video will also include talking points on screen and in the description down below. This will allow you guys to move to a particular point that I talk about and to follow along with the topic. Anyways, that's all I have for this intro, so I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and let's jump right into this discussion. Alrighty guys, uh, let's get into this discussion right now. So I will be referencing some sources for YouTube videos and etc. So I will link down everything that I talk about that warrants a link. Just want to throw that out there just at the very start. Now, the first topic we're going to be going over in this discussion video is going to be PvE items. And in particular, the Dread Master Mask, the Wings of the Architect, and the Of the Ruined World title that I currently have on my commando. Now, the reason I feel like these are a pretty, uh, you know, a big in-game accomplishments, at least uh, for myself, was uh, just through uh, kind of like uh, the, uh, I guess say the process uh, that it took into just uh, getting these things. So with the uh, Dread Master Mask, I uh, saw that there was uh, people uh, pugging it. Uh, yeah, it turns out people were pugging the Hateful Entity. This was back uh, in the time where it was level 55 and I was uh, level 60. So a simplistic time where you didn't have to really worry about DPS checks, but uh, the mechanics uh, could uh, still uh, kill you. And uh, really, the main thing with this uh, was uh, people were just uh, pugging it, and I just told them, let them know, you know, hey, I've never done this, I'm willing to learn. And then I just went through it with that uh, group of people, just had uh, no problems with it. We did uh, kill it quite a few times, and I was able to get the Dreadmaster Mask. And uh, during this time, I also met people that uh, are running the guild I'm currently in now called Tragic Heroes. Just a sh big uh, shout out to them. And you know, I had a really fun time running it with them. Just uh, learning the mechanics of uh, some of the other fights. And of course uh, doing all that good stuff. So eventually uh, they decided to do a nightmare mode run of a Dread Fortress. And uh, I was willing to join it. Just uh, once again told them that you know I'd never done it but I'm willing to learn. Went through all of Dread Fortress. And I didn't win the Wings of the Architect because at this time I was not in the guild that ran it. Once again, I mean Tragic Heroes. So they were just doing that, just getting their guild mates the Wings of the Architect. So understandable. But I continued to run with them in 16 man at Nightmare, or Nightmare Mode Dread Fortress. Just continuing to do it every week. Just helping people get the wings. And they would sometimes do open rolls, so my main goal was to, of course, uh, just continue to run it, just help them out, and also uh, hopefully uh, get uh, the uh, wings. And then eventually, I uh, did a 8-man of Dread Fortress, uh, as they didn't have enough people for 16-man. And uh, it was just right at the last boss uh, for just uh, the, I say, the whole entire operation, so I decided to join in on that. We killed it, and I did successfully win the you know the wings, and this was a good time. I mean, I was really happy with it. I had a really fun time running with these guys, and you know I wanted to join their guild. Now, like I said, my other guild that I was in was really awesome. Absolutely loved the people that were in there, and it's actually the guild that I'm still in on my sharpshooter gunslinger, just Deus Ex Machina. And I, like I said, I absolutely love the people to death in this guild, but uh, it started to, uh, i say kind of decline. A lot of people started, uh, not really to leave, but a lot of people started to quit the game. But I still really enjoy uh, playing uh, with uh, some of those people, the people that are still in the game. And uh, there's a lot of people in that guild that just uh, still doing some stuff, but a lot of people left. Uh, so I decided that I would uh, join this guild uh, called Tragic Heroes. 
and then get into that good stuff. And then once in this guild, I decide to uh, do uh, the uh, monolith boss on hard mode. And uh, they just uh, took me through it. We uh, died uh, once or twice. I don't remember the specifics, but we were able to down it. And the reason I think uh, as that as a pretty proud accomplishment was just the fun we really had. I mean, it was just a genuinely enjoying time. There's not really much more to it. I had a really good time running the uh, fight, just uh, getting to learn the mechanics, and overall just uh, succeeding. And this can be really tied into any operation boss that I've done in the game. It doesn't really matter if it's a story mode and or a nightmare mode or anything in between. I do enjoy doing these uh, PvE fights and I really thought it was an enjoyable time. And that's why I want to continue uh, just uh, running with these people and uh, doing some fun things. Now... I know that my guild Tragic Heroes does uh, progression runs, they have a lot of teams, a lot of good stuff, once again big shout out to them, but uh, with uh, I say kind of with my schedule, I'm not really able to join one of those, and I'm not really a hardcore raider at this point, I never have been really a hardcore raider, I've just liked uh, joining in on some of the harder stuff, and then occasionally just some easier stuff, because I like operations, but uh, it really was a good time, they run good pugs. And I just wanted to uh, be a part of that. So that really just uh, finishes off my PvE items uh, for this video. The next uh, little uh, talking point uh, is going to be uh, PvP. Now when I talk about uh, PvP, I'm mainly talking about uh, starting out uh, or starting off all out warfare and or a thousand matches played. Now the main significance uh, for me with uh, starting All Out Warfare is just uh, the fun times I've had with uh, just uh, going to something like uh, say a daily area and just uh, going after it trying to attack uh, some imps and then starting a big uh, war. I did this in the past and I occasionally do it now, not as much, but I really enjoy uh, open world PvP and that was something that was really big to me. And I don't have a video of it on uh, this channel, but I will link something. And uh, the main thing with this is um, I uh, decided to join in on a PvP event. Not really a PvP event, but in the Rackle Tunnels, people were just uh, attacking. They were doing a, a bunch of fun stuff, just uh, messing with the imps. And then it eventually turned into kind of a low-key war. And uh, that was really fun. I really liked uh, that, and I do like when that happens in the game. So I consider that an accomplishment just because of how fun it is to really just start a war. And that's not, I know a lot of people would say, you know, that's not an accomplishment, you know, just like playing ranked PvP and such, game titles is. And I completely agree. I mean, that's a very big thing is doing well in ranked PvP and getting some titles. But I do consider that a big accomplishment, just open world PvP stuff in general. And then the other thing that I mentioned is a thousand uh, matches played in War Zones. And I consider this an accomplishment because it really shows how much I've played the game and how much fun I've had in the process. I think it's uh, good to have a little achievement in the game that uh, kind of signifies, you know, hey, you've played quite a lot of the game, it's been fun, and you can just kind of reminisce on the past. So that's going to be it for that little talking point right there. The next one we're going to be going over is the Zerka Kratomatic. And the reason I consider this a uh, in-game accomplishment is because of just the work I really put in to try and obtain this item. And the reason I really like uh, this item is uh, just because of, uh, I don't know, just because of like uh, how fun it was to uh, work towards getting this and uh, just uh, trying to uh, obtain the correct amount of credits and items to really make it a reality. So I got my Zerka Kratomatic by giving an insane amount of item overpay. So I gave a lot of armor sets away and I gave the majority of the credits I had and I was able to obtain it. And that was really exciting for me. I know that it is a vanity item and a lot of people don't really care for it too much since it's really just a box and people want the achievement. But I thought it was fun to really work towards this goal as I've never been someone that collects credits too much and it was something that I wanted and I really focused on it and I was eventually successful with getting it. And they still go for quite a bit on the GTN 
but I really have no intention of selling this as it really does uh, signify a point in the game where I wanted to focus on obtaining an item and I did everything in my power to achieve it. And I think a lot of other people can relate with that. Even something as simple as armor sets like the Revan Reborn set. You know, you go for it, you try to obtain, you know, obtain it, and you work towards it and you are eventually successful. So that's why I consider it a very proud accomplishment. And the next uh, talking point we're going to be going over is uh, simply uh, soloing uh, group content. And when I talk about group content, I'm talking about the, the world bosses with level sync, some of the operations uh, when uh, they weren't on level, and of course, uh, Dreadtooth. Now, I'm going to start with the stuff that wasn't on level. So in the past, uh, in the game, as mentioned with the things like the Dreadmaster Mask and Wings of the Architect, there was a time in the game where it turns out you could be not the correct level and you could uh, take down stuff pretty easily. So like with the, the Eternity Vault, Explosive Conflict, and Karaga's Palace, the operations were level 50, where I was currently at level 60 at the time. So I was able to successfully solo all of uh, Explosive Conflict on Story Mode, and I do have a video as well just uh, showcasing this. Once again, all the videos I mentioned will be in the link in the description down below. But uh, this was fun because I tried to uh, go towards it because I think it's pretty cool to try and solo a whole entire operation. And you could get through some of the mechanics and it was uh, actually possible to solo the whole entire operation. So that was a big accomplishment since I wanted to be able to say that I soloed an operation as silly as it sounds and how uh, you know it was off level and you didn't really take too much damage. I thought it was cool to try and achieve that. So there was that. And then there's also 10 stack dread tooth, which I did solo to get my dreadful amulet. And that was also level 50 when I was level 60. So all I really had to do was just attack him for roughly an hour or more. Just continue to attack him. Since his debuff when you don't kill him in time didn't really apply when you out leveled him. So I was just able to solo him in that time. And I thought that was really funny. But also it was a good time. And then, of course, uh, just uh, soloing world bosses with level sync. This is something I've been doing with the channel recently, and it's something that I've considered in the past. And I consider this a pretty big accomplishment because it just really shows uh, how uh, the game is and how you can really just uh, challenge yourself to do some stuff that isn't really intended, uh, you know, just intended with the game as it currently is. And that's why I consider it a, a pretty proud accomplishment. As, you know, I have a fun time with it. I thought it's uh, pretty cool to try and solo a boss at Manta for, uh, you know, a group of people. And I just thought it was cool to really uh, just uh, challenge myself and uh, doing something uh, a bit unique uh, with uh, the game. So that's going to lead us to uh, the final point, And that's going to be uh, meeting guildmates and uh, players. And this really applies to everything. I mean, this applies to my guild I was in in the past at Deus Ex Machina. Huge shout out to those people. Just absolute legends. This applies to Tragic Heroes, the guild I'm currently in. Once again, a lot of uh, just uh, very uh, friendly people. And also, uh, this applies uh, to the people I've met in-game that have seen the channel and all that good stuff. I have had a blast with these people. It has been a just amazing time just with this. And I really do uh, thank you guys. Whether it's in-game, in the comments, or anything, it's absolutely awesome to see you guys' support. And also to know that, you know, hey, you guys watch the channel. I really do have a fun time at just uh, meeting uh, people in-game and uh, just uh, clearing some content with them. I really don't want to uh, make this a bragging video in a sense. And I know that it may be coming off uh, like that, and I do apologize. But I don't know. I think it's fun to kind of reminisce uh, on the past uh, and some of the stuff that I've done in the present with the game. I think a lot of players can also relate to this. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that I feel like players in this game have done. Some really cool things. And I just think it's something that I, you know, honestly feel like we all should really look back on. Just to look at those memories and see how far we've come with the game. And that's really why, not only just with the suggestion for the video, why I was really interested in doing this. Because it seemed like a good idea. And I think it's a fun time because it really has kind of brought a trip down memory lane. Not going to lie, just considering all the stuff that has happened since then. 
But uh, I feel like, you know, that's kind of the final talking point. As I said, just a meeting guildmates and players. Really fun time. Have really enjoyed it. And, yeah, that's just about it. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this uh, Star Wars Republic uh, discussion episode. As always, if you guys enjoy these types of videos, uh, then uh, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.